Petit from Dude Food. Hi. Peekaboo, I see you. I know you. You're my ever-adoring crowd. My audience, if you will. And I know why you're here. I've gotten a lot of love the last few weeks for a little thing I've been doing called Dude Food. Now, if you've been familiar with the format, it's pretty simple. I take quick, easy things, I make them taste great, and I make it for dudes and dudettes. Now, what do I mean when I say that? Because I don't want to catch no flack, ladies out there. This show's called Dude Food, but you're not singled out. This isn't for the yuppies on Wall Street, all right? This isn't food you're gonna get at some five-star restaurant in downtown Manhattan. That's not what this is about, all right? I'm not about raping you for money. I'm about showing you how to make good food, low cost, tastes great, and it's dude food. I do this as a hungry dude. Clearly, I do my share of eating. So, with that being said, allow me to send out my thanks for all of the love and admiration that I've gotten lately about the show, and it's easily been one of our most viewed segments. We gotta get down to business, because because of scheduling conflicts, Tony in Lithuania, and Denaj was out doing something, and G was, you know, in jail. We haven't been able to get together this week for a full show, but we gotta do something. So the Jay Feaster is here by himself. He's hungry, you're hungry, and you want some dude food. So let's get right to it. Today I wanna make it simple. I focused on hearty meals for dinner. But what about lunch? You know what I mean? What about an early supper? Something fresh, something light, something different? So I'm gonna take something simple and kick it up for you. Take it to levels you've never fucking seen. And we're gonna do that today with something as simple as chicken salad, all right? Now, I know a lot of you out there, your chicken salad is whatever chicken you got left from a roast, whatever turkey you got left after Thanksgiving, we'll get there. But my chicken salad, I go out of my way to make it. All right? It's not a leftover to me. It's an amazing dish that can be tweaked to go in so many different directions. The opportunities are limitless with this dish. All right? So, what we need first, all right? Chicken. You need chicken for chicken salad. You hear me? You hear me? You listening? All right? Celery. All right? Celery. Beautiful. You always need celery for chicken salad. At least I said you do. So listen to me. And an onion. Might break out two before the night's through, but you know I'll do what I do. So, basically, chicken salad, or basic chicken salad, is a meat protein in a binder, which is a mayonnaise or a salad dressing, and then I like to do celery and onion. Now, that's just the base, all right? That's your base, and I'm gonna show you how to make a fresh and simple chicken salad with just these three things. But once you've got those three things combined, the things that you can add on top of that to kick it up other levels and keep going and keep reaching and keep grabbing is limitless. You hear me? You dig? You understand? So let's get going. We got some things we got to do. All right, we got to get started here. Now, before we start cooking, there is something important. Stay right there. Right there. Hold on. Okay. Almost forgot. Are you kidding me? That's sexy. All right, now that we got the first ingredient out of the way, that's done. Get yourself a pot. Simple, easy, plain as day. Deep bottom, good for the stove, ready to go. Now, second ingredient after the shot of scotch. A can of beer or a bottle of beer, but we're going to dump it right in this pot. All right, now I got one for the pot. I got one to drink. Excellent stuff. You're gonna take a little salt. You follow? Beer, salt, pepper. The staples. If you've seen the show long enough, you know what the staples are by now, all right? So you know where I'm gonna go when I say I'm gonna grab the garlic powder, all right? So the salt, the pepper, the garlic powder that won't frickin' open for me. Just open up! A little garlic powder in there. I think this is the onion powder. We're gonna run with it. This is the onion powder, all right? Salt, pepper, onion powder, all right? Boom! Ready to go. We're gonna add a little bit of water. Get some hot, fresh water going. We're gonna get this on the stove. We're gonna bring it to a boil. When it comes to a boil, well, I'm gonna show you, asshole. But anyways, when it comes to a boil, we're gonna take the lid off, put our chicken in, and we're gonna cook it. Now, you could grill this. You could roast it. You could cook the chicken however you want. I like 
the chicken to be juicy and moist. You're not gonna, I'm not gonna boil the crap out of this. I'm gonna boil this just enough to get it really going. We'll get the light on there so you can start seeing what's going on. We'll get on this one here. There's another, oh, that's that one, that's the one right there. We'll get on there, put a lid on, lids. Things boil faster, okay? Put a lid on it, it'll boil faster. I'm gonna give this a break, have another shot, and we're gonna get into the next step. All right, so while we got the water boiling, it's always a good thing to do your mise en place, get your ingredients. You see, I got all this stuff laid out. We won't get into this. I got all my seasonings laid out. I'll put them back when I'm done, but I lay everything out that I need. We're gonna do something with this. We're gonna do something with this, but that's all there. Now, while the water's boiling, I'm gonna get started on the onions and the celery and get these prepped up for afterwards. Cause like I said, I'm actually gonna make you guys three different chicken salads right now. I'm gonna make you the original, the one that you need to know, the base chicken salad. It's awesome anytime. I'll eat this junk at seven o'clock in the morning and it ain't even that bad for you ladies. All right, pay attention. It's not even that bad for you. So anyways, we're gonna put that there. Now it depends on how you like this. I don't want giant chunks. So I'm gonna do a real small crescent cut up the, up the onion potato. Yeah, have another one Johnny. But yeah, I'm going to basically do this, like this, go all the way around. I call it a crescent cut. I don't know if there's a technical term for it, but we'll call it the around the world, all right? So you do the around the world, the whole 180 there, and I like to go kind of thin. I don't want the onion to be overpowering, so I don't want big chunks in there, all right? I don't want something you're going to get stuck in your teeth and go, God damn, that's onion, you know? So then when you get to the end there, we'll just rough chop this, like so. We got that there, we'll get that right into a bowl, just like so, all right? And then basically do the same with the next one. Now if you don't feel comfortable doing the whole onion, stop right there, all right? Take this, it's a little bit more manageable. Slice it down, nice and small, thin pieces. Boom, there you go. Then go back, do some more. Hey, stay there, you know what I mean? Get those and then just Like that, you know, and then finish her off and get her done. All right, next in line, celery, the good stuff, all right? I'm gonna say, since I'm making a bunch of big batches, I'm actually gonna do quite a bit of celery. I'm gonna do about that much celery. I don't measure this stuff, guys. So, I mean, you gotta figure it out on your own, whatever your like is. I, like I said, I happen to dig the celery in my chicken salad. I'm gonna cut the ends off here. I'm gonna cut the tops off. Gonna get rid of this this leafy shit because to be honest with you, it could be better. I mean, you could use it if you ever used uh, the spice lovage. If any of you uh, smart asses out there know what that is, you can actually use those tops as a substitute for lovage in a pinch. Wash said celery. Just give it, you know, get your hands in the ribs there. All right, get it in there. Shake it. Oh, look at that. Ba, 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 ba. Like you're spanking an ass. Oh yeah, there you go. Whoa, whoa, out of control. So anyways, now, I like to break this down into pieces, all right? Because I don't want a giant ass piece of celery. I want some fairly finer stuff. So I'm gonna basically cut it in half and I'm gonna quarter each half, like so. You see that? So now we got eight pieces all together. And now basically, just cut it up. Basically right there, you see that, a medium, a small, a medium, small dice. We're going to get that going. And one more time, for those paying attention at home, quarter, have it, then quarter, okay? Have it, then quarter to halves. Boom. Now if you want, you could quarter the whole damn thing, but to keep a straight line all the way down can be a little tough. You shorten it up, you give yourself better odds. Boom, there we go, keep it going. All right, hey, celery, done. Onion, done. I might do a little bit more before the day's through, because I don't know if that's gonna do all the chicken I got. But, that's the sound over here. But that water and beer and spices is ready to go. 
So we're going to take our chicken and dump it in the water. Now, like I said, normally, if I got friends coming over, no, I'm not going to boil chicken. I wouldn't serve that to my friends like that. But since this is going to be mixed up, especially with, you know, we're going to use mayonnaise here today. That's going to be the main binder that we're going to use, especially because I'm using mayonnaise. It's going to give it that, you know, tenderness, that velvetiness that we're looking for. And I'm not going to cook the crap out of it. You're not going to boil that for four hours, all right? You cook the crap out of it, you're going to come to hate it. Don't hate it. Now notice, I'm washing my hands too, all right? Safety first. This is chicken snapper hands, all right? You kill your goddamn self, all right? Now, salmonella, maybe it won't kill you. But I'm gonna tell you right now, you're gonna have your squirts, you're probably gonna end up in the hospital. You're gonna be throwing up your goddamn shoes in about 20 minutes, all right? So make sure you wipe down your counter, wipe down your hands. Don't screw around, all right? Don't be touching your lips, wiping your ass. You know, safety first. Safety first. We preach it here on Dude Food. Hey, all right. Water's boiling, chicken's in, they're going, good to go. Celery, onions, or other main ingredients in the basic foundation for chicken salad are done. But I promised you a menage a trois, a little three-way dance, all right? So what I'm gonna do is, is, we've already discussed, I'm making a plain chicken salad. A very straightforward, simple one. That's number one. After that, we're gonna tweak it up. We're actually gonna add a little cranberry, a little walnut, a little tarragon. We're gonna make a cranberry walnut chicken salad, and then we're going to add to the third one a little bit of curry, a little bit of coconut, and make a coconut curry chicken salad. Now, one of the things I like to do is toast my coconut. Get your oven over here, <coughs> excuse me, almost time for a smoke. Get your oven over here to 350, 325 actually. All right, get yourself a pan and get yourself some coconut. All right, I'm going to probably do about a quarter of a cup here. Now listen, this is easy, all right? But if you screw around, you are gonna burn it. Get your oven up to temperature. You're gonna put this in and literally check it every minute and a half to two minutes. And I mean that, all right? You're gonna see what it does. It gives you that toasted flavor. And I gotta, I gotta admit, I love toasted coconut more than I love regular coconut. You ever have them, you ever have them freaking uh, marshmallows with the toasted coconut on them? I dig them, I dig them. Eat them by the box full, you can tell that. Come on, wake up. All right, listen, everything's ready to go. The oven's gonna come up. We're gonna drop this in the oven, 325. Check on it every two minutes, and we'll show you the results. Hey, it's time to check the, oh, beautiful, right there. That is exactly what we want, ladies and gentlemen. Golden brown, all right? Now, it's a little soft right now. It just came out the oven. I guarantee you, give this about two, three minutes. They're gonna be nice, crunchy little pieces of coconut. And we're gonna let those cool down. We're at a standstill. Coconut's done. We got our other ingredients. Chicken's still boiling. So for Johnny V, I'm gonna send you over to a commercial. And when we get back, we're finally gonna be able to wrap up some of this stuff, all right? Check this out. The year, 1863. The town, Wakefield, Rhode Island. Yes, indeed, Wakefield, Rhode Island, 1863. A little meat shop called Town Meats owned by a man named Liam Gray, all right? The story was he had leftover chicken. He took said leftover chicken, mixed it with some mayonnaise, some tarragon, and some grapes, started putting it on bread and selling it. The meat shop a few years later closed down, but what took over was a delicatessen because of the first American form of modern chicken salad. The delicatessen still stands to this day. And you know what else still stands to this day? Watutv.com, the Mecca. Can I say that enough? Shut up, the Mecca, the home. But we wouldn't be even around without YouTube. Love you, YouTube. Bouncy, fresh, squeeze it. Then you got Twitter. I know Twitter. Nice to see you, pal. Nudge, nudge. We don't use you often, but I like you. And then you've got Facebook. Oh, we know we love you there. The fan page. I'm on it. G's on it. Tony's on it. Den Hodge's on it. Taylor McKnight's on it. We're all on it. We're all there. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, the website, Chicken Salad, Wakefield, Rhode Island, Town Meats, Liam Gray, all of it. Pay attention. Let's get back to cooking. 
You ready? You better be. You better be ready. And you know what should be ready too? Our chicken. But now, come over here, all right? Now I know I do this for a living, so it's my gig. I can tell by feel. But go ahead and find the biggest one in there. I've already found this fat bastard. And you press it, you feel it. I've said that a lot. If you cook enough, you're gonna get the feel of it. But now just to be safe, we're gonna take this biggest one out, come over here to the cutting board. And we're just gonna cut it straight down the line. Now, we're not serving this to our friends, so we ain't gonna worry about it being in a whole piece. Take a look at that. Look at that, fully cooked, still juicy, still soft. That's it. We're done. We're gonna shut that off. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab ourselves. Hey. Oh yeah, you still see it. It's still there. La, 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 la. Good. Alright, so we got the one piece of chicken over there. Get all your chicken out. As I've said before in other shows, that juice in there right now is amazing. You add some celery, some carrots, and some onions, boil that down. That's an amazing chicken stock right there. But for our purposes, we're just going to set it to the side. Chicken fully cooked. Now, gentlemen, we're making chicken salad. This has to cool. You understand me? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? This has to cool. Don't get my hair in it. That's very unsanitary. Safety first, but this has to cool. See how that smoke? See it? Don't you see it? See that smoke? It's no good for chicken salad. You go to add your mayonnaise or your dressing or whatever you want, it's gonna turn it into soup, all right? You got to let this cool. But safety first, you don't wanna take this steaming pan and put it in the old fridge, all right? Bad news can happen, all right? You're taking a very hot item, you're exposing it to very cold, perfect breeding ground for bacteria. So let this sit out on the counter about 15 minutes, all right? Then, then throw it in here and let it sit for about a half hour, we'll be ready to wrap up these chicken salads. I'm gonna just shred it, all right? Because you can cube this, or you can just shred it, all right? There's a piece of cartilage there. If you notice any cartilage, get that garbage out of there. But just shred it, all right? Doesn't have to be cubes, pieces. I know most of the places, if you go to the store and buy this crap, they puree the hell out of it. It's chicken butter at that point. It ain't good, all right? This stuff here, we're just going to shred this up, nice big pieces like that, we're going to get that in there, you know what I mean, and like I said, this is, should be soft, you know what I mean, I didn't overcook the crap out of it, it's not dry, it's still got a little moistness to it, because you don't want to cook the shit out of your chicken, and now again, we're doing the foundation, this is a basic chicken salad, alright, just rip off pieces, keep doing this. All right, hey, take a look, see? All that chicken, shred it up, all right? Now you can do whatever you want. If you wanna do like, you know, Walmart and put this in a food processor and blend the shit out of it, go ahead, make your cat food. If you wanna dice it up, I normally like to do little cubes. This stuff was cooked so perfectly, I could shred it. So we're gonna do shredded for today's purposes. It's a lot easier. And this bowl's a little too small, so I'm just gonna get a casserole dish. I don't have a bigger bowl. Use what you got. Go around your house. I'm going to make one big batch of chicken salad. Then we're going to split it up. And I'm going to show you how to make these other ones. So you're going to go ahead and add your chicken. Add your celery. This stuff will hold about four or five days in your fridge, all right? This is basically my next three nights of dinner. I plan ahead. The biggest thing on dough food is cooking. Now, I don't want to eat chicken salad, just plain old chicken salad for the next three days. So I'm actually going to be mixing it up. So now... We got that on there, we got that on there. You're going to grab your salt, ladies and gentlemen. You know me. Salt, all right? This is your basic chicken salad. A little pepper. Get your pepper in there. Where am I going next? Come on. Come on! You know me. Garlic powder. You know where I'm going. You know where I'm going. And then, come on, just hold back, snapperhead. We're going to add a little garlic powder. going to add a little onion powder like so, and I'm gonna add a little bit of paprika. I like it, I like it, I dig it. You see me using it last week, it's back. Paprika's back, all right, now, we got it there. There's our basis. Now, mayonnaise, all right? Any kind of mayonnaise you want. And ladies, like I said, you could mix this up. You don't wanna do this? Make your chicken, 
And I'm adding a lot of mayonnaise. This is a lot of chicken salad. All right. But make your and say you know instead of using mayonnaise, take your chicken. Oh, I'm using God's greatest tools. My hands. I did wash them. Don't be afraid. Oh my God, that's so disgusting. Shut up. Get in there. Use your hands. Do what God gave you to do. But anyways, like I was saying, you don't want to use mayonnaise? Fine, take the mayonnaise out. Use a little ranch dressing. Throw some bacon in there. Boom. Bacon, ranch, throw some cheddar. Boom. Bacon, cheddar, ranch, chicken salad. That's amazing. So there we go. We got that. All mixed up. Look at that loveliness. Oh, that looks so good. So good. All right. Got that mixed up. Now we're going to wash our hands. Wash our hands. Safety first. Safety first. All right. Now guinea pig it, you know. You're not going to guinea pig your friends. So for a basic chicken salad, you're not going to want to just serve that, all right? You're going to do what I'm going to do. You're going to get yourself a fucking fork. You're going to go back to it, and you're going to give it a shot. You're going to try it, all right? You don't want to give it to your friends if you haven't tried it yourself. Boom. That's great. That's it right there. Basic chicken salad. Let's go back to this bowl. Let's separate this into thirds. All right? And let's take out this third. Right here. All right? Just like so. I'm eyeballing this. Do what you want. I don't really care. But anyways. So there we go. Now, we're going to add cranberries. Boom. Crushed walnuts. Boom. I'm going to add a little bit more. Not much, but I am adding these dry ingredients. So I want to add a little bit more. And then a base de resistance tarragon. Now, granted, I'm going to always profess that fresh is better. But it's about 20 degrees. Okay? You ain't growing herbs right now. So, with that being said, use dry, all right? It takes a little bit longer for that flavor to come out. But boom, ladies and gentlemen, you got it right there, all right? There's a tarragon chicken salad with walnuts and cranberries. This is outstanding, all right? And like I said, this is actually gonna hold four or five days in your fridge, all right? So now, we got the tarragon, cranberry, walnut, chicken, salad, okay? Boom. There it is. Cranberry, walnut, tarragon, chicken, salad. All right? We'll grab another bowl here. All right? We'll take out this good stuff. Straight up. Straight up, all right? Straight up chicken salad. Now, ladies, this isn't a serving. I'm not saying this is what you give to your friends, but just to show you the contrast, use the same bowl. A little tarragon in this next one won't hurt you. Kill off what you got left. This right here, folks, is my personal favorite, okay? I'm being honest with you. I go out for Chinese food. I love coconut chicken, and I love curry. We're gonna dump in that coconut. Coconut's dry, okay? We're gonna add a little more mayonnaise, just a little, all right? Then you're gonna come over here and get this. Curry, curry powder. Oh, don't be afraid, love it, love it. We're actually gonna add a little bit more paprika into that too. Curry, paprika, the coconut. You're gonna mix that in, mix it in. Oh, this right here. This stuff right here all day. Coconut curry chicken salad. Yeah, I'm hitting. I'm hitting the camera. I don't give a shit. That's how good that is. All right, you're gonna mix that all together. Mix it all in there. I love playing with my breasts. I mean it. Look at this. Look at this. This chicken breast is amazing. Now, again, you don't want to make guinea pigs out of your friends. I already used this to taste before, so I don't want to stick that back in my mouth. I'll use the other end, okay? Double usage. Out of this world. Boys, girls, there you go. Coconut curry chicken salad. Plain chicken salad, all right? And then, cranberry, walnut, 
chicken, salad. Get a shot at us. The plane. You start here. You start here, okay? Learn it. Onions, celery, little mayonnaise, chicken, some seasonings. Boom. From there, we added walnuts, we added cranberries, we added tarragon. Boom. Completely different dish. We took it back. We added coconut, we added curry, we added paprika, boom, totally different dish. These are all amazing. Now let me show you how I serve it. All right, so we're going to start with our plain chicken salad. I prefer rye bread. Love rye bread, great flavor. Make sure you get it fresh. You know, take care of your friends. Put a nice little dousing on there, you know, like so. There is your plain chicken salad. You could throw some lettuce on here. You could throw a tomato. I kind of just like it plain like this. Slice it in half. We'll lay it in one bowl. We're going to do a little tri-plate, all right? Next up, we're going to go to this tarragon cranberry walnut chicken salad. For that one, I'm going to go whole wheat. Got the nice herbs on the top, and the, uh, the grains on the top there. I love the whole wheat. Now be careful, ladies, the next day you, you eat this, you might have to add a little more mayonnaise. And I know this sounds gross. It's like, Jesus, how much do you need, Johnny? But I'm telling you right now, the walnuts in there will absorb some of it. So the next day you go to eat this, it actually might be a little dry. All right? You pile it up on there nice. Give it a good press. Cut this. Boom. So now we got rye with regular. And now we got wheat with the walnut cranberry. Now, next up, the curry. The coconut curry chicken. How do we do that one? What are we gonna do? A little pita. Little pita pocket. Now normally with these, I love these because you can just take some lettuce, form it in the base right there. There you go. But for this one, for this coconut curry, we're just gonna stuff it, make a little pocket. All right. So now we got the plain on rye. We got the walnut cranberry on the wheat. And we got the coconut curry in the pita wrap. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that, gentlemen. Do the other one here. Do the honors. You're serving up friends. Love them. Take care of them. Don't shy away. You know, show your love and support. You know? Here's a menage a trois of chicken salad. And the way I'd serve this to a friend, you get yourself... Some basic kettle chips right there on the side. Just like that. There you go, folks. There's lunch. Menage a trois chicken salad. The plain on rye. The coconut curry in the pita. The cranberry walnut on the wheat. Some kettle chips on the side. Bon appetit from Doom Food. Pita cooking, bear, scotch. We'd be bacon too if we were epic meal time, but we're not, so bacon every once in a while, alright?